Greetings, dear friends. Welcome to a new beginning, a fresh start in the world of technology. We understand that delving into this digital realm can be daunting, especially when you're over 35 and just starting out. But fear not. Our goal here is simple, to demystify technology, breaking down its complex terms into everyday language and empowering you to navigate it with confidence. So let's embark on this journey together. For remember, it's never too late to embrace the digital world. First things first, let's decode some tech jargon. Imagine the internet as a vast, bustling city. The buildings are websites, and the roads connecting them are what we call Wi-Fi, a wireless network that lets us travel around this digital city. Now think of apps as your personal vehicles. They're designed to help you get to your destination, whether it's ordering food or catching up on the news. In the world of technology, we also have two key components, software and hardware. Hardware is like the physical parts of a car, the engine, the wheels, and the body. Software, on the other hand, is like the GPS that guides the car where to go. It's the programs and applications that tell the hardware what to do. Now, with these terms in our arsenal, we are ready to navigate the digital world. The web is a vast ocean of information. How do we sail through it? Picture yourself at the helm of a ship. Your web browser is your compass, guiding you through the boundless digital sea. When you want to find something, you use a search engine like Google. It's like your sea chart, helping you locate the information islands you're looking for. Enter your search terms and voila, a list of potential destinations pops up. Now, suppose you find an island you'd like to revisit, you can bookmark it. It's like marking an X on your sea chart, a reminder for future visits. But in this vast ocean, not all islands are safe or reliable. It's paramount to evaluate the reliability of online information. Check if the source is reputable, look for corroborating evidence, and when in doubt, cross-reference with other trusted sites. Well done. You're now a budding web navigator. Your device is your personal assistant. Let's make it truly yours. To begin, we'll dive into the initial setup. This involves tweaking settings to ensure privacy, security, and accessibility. You'll want to adjust these settings to match your comfort level and needs. For instance, privacy settings control how much of your information is shared with others or with the apps you use. Security settings, on the other hand, protect your device from unauthorized access. And accessibility settings, these make your device easier to use, especially if you have specific needs like larger text or voiceover capabilities. Now let's talk about personalizing your device further by downloading and organizing apps. Think of apps as tools or resources. They can help you do everything from checking the weather to keeping track of your daily steps. You can download these apps from your device's app store and organize them on your home screen for easy access. Great job. Your device is now tailored to your needs. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you. Now that we have our devices set up, let's connect with the world. One of the most common ways to communicate online is through email. Setting up an email account is like setting up a digital mailbox. You can send and receive messages, documents, photos and much more. Remember, when writing an email, keep it concise, clear and respectful. This is part of what we call online etiquette, the unwritten rules of politeness on the internet. Now, let's talk about video calls. Imagine having a face-to-face -face conversation, but through your screen. Video calling apps like Zoom or Skype allow you to do just that. You can chat with friends, attend meetings, or even participate in online classes. To have a successful video call, ensure you have a stable internet connection, a quiet environment, and remember, mute your microphone when you're not speaking to avoid unnecessary background noise. Congratulations, you're ready to communicate in the digital world. With great power comes great responsibility. Let's talk about online safety. Just as you wouldn't leave your house unlocked, you shouldn't leave your digital life unprotected. Cybersecurity is our virtual padlock, keeping our personal information safe from prying eyes. Now, a strong password is your first line of defense. Think of it as the key to your digital home. Make it unique. Mix it up with upper and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols. Next, be aware of phishing attempts. These are deceitful messages designed to trick you into revealing sensitive information. They're like con artists of the digital world. If something seems suspicious, it probably is. Finally, safely browsing the web is essential. Just as you wouldn't wander into a dark alley at night, avoid visiting suspicious websites. Remember, staying safe online is as important as learning to use technology.
We've covered a lot today, but this is just the beginning of our digital journey. We'd love to hear from you, your thoughts, your questions, your first encounters with technology. Don't be shy, drop them in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing. We'll be unraveling more tech mysteries, from social media to online shopping and even digital photography. Thank you for joining us today. We're excited to accompany you on this journey. Stay curious and keep exploring. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.